our fear go. Thank you. I call David Seymour. Oh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise on behalf of the ACT Party in opposition to this Local Government Community Wellbeing Amendment Bill, but it should be called the Local Government Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream Amendment Bill, because like so much of what this government gets up to, it is built on the myth that if only the intentions are good, the results will follow. And as this government is going to find out painfully over three years, the real world don't work like that. This bill, Madam Speaker, takes the Local Government Act and changes it to take away the important features that stipulate what local government should be doing and says local government can just do whatever it feels like. At the moment, the bill says that the purpose of local government is that local authorities should play a broad role in meeting the current and future needs of their communities for good quality local infrastructure, local public services and performance of regulatory functions. Under the current Act, local government is given some actual tasks and responsibilities. Under this bill, and it's only four short pages, but it goes to the heart of what local government is supposed to do, it says that local government should play a broad role in promoting the social, economic, environmental and cultural well-being of their communities, taking a sustainable development approach. What does that mean? Well, for local government, it means they can justify any activity they want at cost to ratepayers. That is why this is not the Community Wellbeing Bill, it is the Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream Local Government Bill, and it gets worse. We get on a few sections later, and we again attack the purpose of local government. At the moment, the purpose of local government, according to the Local Government Act, is to meet the current and future needs of communities for good quality local infrastructure, local public services, and the performance of regulatory functions in a way that is most cost effective for households and businesses. Well, that's not going to be there anymore. That's going to be gone. It's going to say as long as the council thinks it's doing the right thing, then that's okay and forget cost effectiveness for households and businesses. This is rate increases telegraphed from parliament through your local council coming to a town near you. Not you, Madam Speaker, but the people waiting at home who actually have to work hard and earn the money and pay those rates. And it gets worse. At the moment, the Local Government Act says that good quality services are efficient, are effective and appropriate to present and anticipated future circumstances. That's gone completely. Efficiency, effectiveness, this government is actively bringing a bill to the House to try and make sure that local government won't be effective or efficient. And if it wasn't so serious, it would be hilarious. But it is serious because I can tell the government that people in the real world, such as the Ipsum electorate, know that they want a government, a local government, that delivers those services which have no substitute in private markets, that central government doesn't provide. They want their council to provide those things at the most efficient and effective cost possible. It's bad enough now, but once the last remaining restraints on local government, the last remaining requirements for local government to perform efficiently and effectively are proactively released by this government, sorry, re re removed by this government, would you believe it? Then local government is going to have a field day at the ratepayers' expense. And those real problems we have in Auckland, those real problems like raw sewage getting washed into the Waitemata and Manukau harbours when it rains too much, those real problems like people that get sewage going down the creek at the back of their house in Renuera when it rains too much, those will remain unfixed. Those real problems, like the shortage of infrastructure, those real problems, like the lack of affordable housing for the next generation of New Zealanders, those will remain unfixed by local government, which under this bill no longer has to be efficient and effective. Rather than solving the real problems at a cost-effective rate for, for ratepayers up and down this country, local government 
will be pursuing puppy dogs and ice cream. And that's why the ACT Party opposes this bill. I call Andrew Fallou. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to speak tonight on the local government community wellbeing.